Let's see now what the necessary steps to develop an effective environmental and social risk management system, ESMS, within a bank are. First of all, note that if external experts can help establishing an ESMS, the final responsibility lies on the banks themselves, as they are the ones who know better the constraints and opportunities related to the local market and to their internal organization and capacity. The first task is then to establish, within the bank, a working group in charge of the environmental and social risks management process. This working group will be placed under the coordination of senior management, and it should be composed of a senior manager responsible for ENS risks, an ESMS coordinator, an external expert, if necessary, and the bank's operational staff. It is crucial to involve those in the credit and commercial departments who will be involved with the system on a daily basis. After having conducted the ENS risk analysis of the existing portfolio and developed an action plan, the working group can develop an ESMS framework to define the sectors standards, type of financing, loan amounts and specific criteria to be applied, such as involuntary resettlement of populations or the impact on a nature reserve, for instance. This working group is then responsible for developing procedures and related documents, exclusion lists, operational manuals, recommended standards and sector guidelines. Draft documents should be circulated for staff input. The ESMS thus finalised, together with the implementation plan, time frame and training programme, should be presented by the working group to the executive board for approval. Once the ESMS approved begins the pilot phase, the environmental and social risk management system should be introduced gradually in the credit cycle, focusing on a limited number of operations while teams will be trained. Regular monitoring and evaluation at each stage of this pilot phase will allow the necessary adjustments in order to cover all sectors and levels of risks of the portfolio. A training program is required for those employees at the operational level who will be involved in the application of the ESMS and this program must also be available for newcomers through e-learning tools for instance. The time required to develop an ESMS depends largely on the complexity of the system and the nature and size of the bank. According to these characteristics, the system can be developed within a year in general, and six months if it is basic. A few more months are necessary to complete the pilot phase and training of staff, and then the system will be fully operational. As for the budget, the cost of developing an ESMS also depends on the complexity of the bank's organisational structure. Besides, hiring external experts can save time, but it can also increase the budget. Here, the tools are in your hands. It's your turn now to develop an ESMS.